Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Welcome to today's amazing, amazing Maserati video. And you're like, wow, amazing Maserati video. How do you get an amazing when you already have an amazing car? Agreed, right? I agree. This car right here, first off, needs no introduction for me. Matter of fact, I'm probably littering the screen right now just by standing here. However, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, why I love these cars so much, why uh, this is such a great car and why in particular this car really needs to be in your driveway. All right, so a lot of times people will say to me, man, Tone, that's a great looking car. Agreed, it is a great looking car, but sometimes they don't know why it's a great looking car. Let's take a second, all right, and let's see what makes for a great looking car. Let's look at this shape. This is one of those cars where the styling, I feel, I feel, will endure forever, right? They've been making this same body since 2008, right? It's 2022 that we're doing this video. That's a long run for no change of a body, right? And it's still super, super sexy. When you see these going down the road and they're rare to be seen, that's why these are great cars, especially in the previously owned market. So the styling here is so good, so good. The way the headlights fall down in here, very Italian. Uh, the raised hood right here. Um, I had to send this little piece out to get painted, so I wanted to point that out right away. That'll be on there. Uh, when you take delivery, it's just getting painted today. A little tiny cap that goes over the washer, uh, which is a nice feature too. So when you hit the windshield washer, it cleans the headlights as well. Now, once we get back down here, now we're moving to what is, look at the side of this car. It is so good. This has some carbon pieces on it. This has the factory big calipers uh, in blue, right? And these big 22 inch uh, black diamond wheels, continental uh, sport contacts all season tires. I also order these tires here a size wider. Why do I order them a size wider front and rear? To protect it against the curbs. You know, the tires that come on here have this tiny little bead that can't protect this car from the curbs really. And so I order them a little bit bigger to help do all that. These fender vents are a great touch. Pininfarina was a design house in Italy who gave us this spectacular design. And the truth is it has soldiered on as a beautiful, beautiful car. Okay, so one of the comments I always get is, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but you don't really know why it's a great looking car, right? And some of the detail stuff, let's look at that for a second and see. So this is designed by Pininfarina in Italy, the design house who's designed many, many cars, uh, especially for Maserati, Ferrari, and what have you. We have Ferrari parts in here because we are owned by the same company. What parts are in here? Well, when we open the hood and look at those things, we'll talk about that. However, the styling of this car is so good. The waterfall, the headlights, the scoop of the hood here, the way the fenders come out, these, uh, you know, kind of quattroporte uh, style fender vents, right? Uh, this right here is a small little cap that goes over the washer. Um, I haven't that repainted, it needed to be uh, redone. So we just, I wanted to do the video. I wanted to get it out there. The car's fresh, you needed to see it. So that'll be on there by the time you take delivery, but I wanted to point that out ahead of time. This right here, these are 22 inch uh, black diamond wheels and they are just, they just fit the car really well. However, the stock wheels come with it. So you can have your choice of this or the stock wheels. The factory calipers are in blue with the white letters, right? Still looks so good. And then just uh, little stuff like this great call out by Pin and Farina. The last thing I like to talk about is the paint. And why do I say that? Because these cars come with a little bit better paint than some other cars. I don't know why, I don't know what they do there, but this is a metallic color because you can get them in flats. You can get them in like black without metallic. White doesn't have metallic, but this blue has enough metallic in it that just makes it glow. Come on up here and see this. Cause I like to tell people when you're looking at the quality of paint, look at how great you can read each letter and the paint just looks so good. You can see the, all the lights in here. You can see the ceiling and the reflection in there. This is great, great paint. You know, it's a super low mileage car and sometimes the way to tell you have a super low mileage car is little stuff like this. First off, this is designed. They built this so you can carry golf clubs in here, right? So they made the pockets on the side, take a golf bag with you. But here's how I love to buy a car. This right here is the inflator for the uh, tire in case you get a flat still and it's plastic, never been, uh, never been used. This is a tool kit at the bottom, it's velcro in place. I don't believe that that's ever been opened as well. And it doesn't take up any room inside here. Nice to know that you get all of those things. 
All right, so we added our touches here. You have uh, this carbon spoiler. Well, this comes off if you don't want it, right? You don't have to have this on here. I thought it looked great. You don't have to have it. And then you have just the touches of a modern, like listen, if this is 2022, this has LEDs already built in it, so it's very modern looking. This has a blackout treatment for the exhaust. It has two modes for the exhaust. These exhausts have a valve in them. It gives you this quiet sound. You're on the phone, you're doing a little business work, whatever, you're trying to, uh, you know, you're in a hospital, or whatever it is you're driving. If you wanna then hit the sport button, then we get wide open this, and we get this great sound, and it is intoxicating. When we go for a drive today, you're gonna go, oh my God. You know what, you may never open the hood of this car because it's, uh, it's not a place you need to be. However, if you go to a car show or you have some friends over, you might wanna show them this and I'll show you why because they put a lot, a lot of detail into making this a beautiful, beautiful engine compartment, all right? So for instance, like look at this, the red cam covers that are here. This is a black, uh, a powder coated intake manifold, right? It's just, and these covers are here. But the last part I wanted to show you is because this is so sexy, it's great. However, the reason why it handles so well is because this is called a mid-engine car. Why is it called a mid-engine car, Tone, when the, when the engine's right up front? Yes, however, the engine is behind the center of the front wheels. So the center of the front wheels are right here, right here, okay? The engine is back here. So we get all of that weight off the front of the wheels. The car handles much better. We still have room inside. All of this right here is for styling. So there's really nothing inside here other than styling places. But I just wanted you to know why they're legendary for their handling, their sound, and their feel. You're probably asking why I have a smile right now. I'm gonna tell you why I have a smile. I just walked up to this car and I smiled. I said, wow, man, this car is so hot. And then I re realized I'm gonna get in it and it's even hotter inside here. I wanna point out a couple things that while you were so enamored by the outside of the car that you may have missed. So this interior in, uh, in this off-white has blue stitching in it, right? Blue stitching the same color as the exterior of the car. The headrests are embroidered in the same color as the exterior of the car. The mats we had made with the blue binding, right? And then, I don't know, man, just the fact that this is a 2015, it's a Gran Turismo Sport, it's still very modern inside. We're, doing, we're in 2022 right now, it's a seven year old car. However, it only has 26,000 miles on it, right? That is just a little over 3,000 miles a year. It's basically a brand new car for, for less than half or somewhere around half price of, of what the new car was. It's amazing. So you got climate control for both sides. You got heated seats for both sides. You got a killer interface and stereo here. You got the infamous sport button. You push that button right there. I will say this to you that the back seat of this car is bigger than almost any other uh, coupe that's out there. Uh, other than maybe a big S-Class Benz, but they have done a great job carving out the back of the seats uh, here uh, for people in the back and making a lot, a lot of room back there. Having said that, if you're not gonna take the kids or another couple or whatever out to dinner and you wanna get uh, moving through the gears a little bit, you click this down, put it over in the Sport, you can drive with the paddles. It has a 9,000 RPM uh, attack in it with a 7,500 RPM redline. 200 mile an hour speedometer, full array of gauges, and this cool old school Maserati clock in here. It's just nice. It's like with the little chrome trim rings around each switch, right? It's like Italian stuff. And then you look over here to here, when you open the door, it's got the ebony trim in here. You got the blue stitching on the door, Bose speakers. You got that great Maserati sill plate down there, right? Somebody gets in their, this car and they've already walked up to the car and been so blown away by it. Once they get in here, it's like, wow. All right, I'm smiling because we're closing up this video. I keep walking up to this car going, man, this car is so good looking. I know you're thinking the same thing. So let's go ahead and run down some of the details. The paint on this car is spectacular. It may be the one and only of its color combination that Maserati built uh, this year. Could be one of one for all we know. Uh, the interior, spectacular. The features and options on this car, the rear wing, the front spoiler, the side vents. Uh, if you decide to go with the wheels or not with the wheels, also with the wheels, if you want, these can be painted gloss black, powder coated gloss black, right? How cool would that be on this car? A whole nother level of wow, wow, wow. It's hard to keep up with all of the wow. Anyway, uh, I believe that somehow, somehow we gotta figure out how to get this 4.7 liter, you know, approaching the 500 horsepower mark, uh, Ferrari tuned V8 uh, in your garage. Anyway, call us 301. 
816-1000 will tell you all about this Maserati Gran Turismo S, all right? Don't forget to uh, like the video down below there if you don't mind and uh, share it with your friends. And uh, if you would, subscribe to the channel. That way you keep getting new content every time that uh, something new hits the air. We are getting ready to go for a test drive, so I hope you're in. Let's go for a ride. All right, we're talking about the sounds of a Maserati. I mean, just saying Maserati has its own sound, but the pipes are what make people smile when they say, oh, you drive a Maserati. Hmm, how you doing? the Maz. Listen to that exhaust, you guys. Listen to that. And that's in sport mode. You can quiet that down by pushing the sport mode button again. But it blips the throttle for you when you pull on the shifter. T's over there are going to be yelling at me because you're going around the corner too much. Well, I just like people to see. I just like that sound. Oh my God, I could do that all day. Listen to this as we head on down the chute, this nice little windy road, wheeling on down. I'm gonna get fired by the producer. He's already getting twisted up, I can tell, but who cares, man? This is why you wanna get fired, for driving this car like this. Just making it sound like that. Listen to that. Italian, listen, listen. That's only 4,000 RPMs. We got 7,500 max. It just sounds so good. So good and handles so beautifully. That's that mid-engine design. All right, we should talk a little bit about the car and the quality of it. Listen, man, this is a solid, solid car, but it's also a car that you can use as a daily driver. That was the idea behind Maserati. They came to this country with a four-year warranty. No Italian car maker was coming here with a four-year, 48,000-mile warranty. A back seat that could easily fit two adults on the way to the beach. Plenty of storage in the back. I mean, it's just a car that's daily. Seat heaters and remotes and great audio systems. And like, it's a real deal, modern exotic but reliable. We sell so many of these things because the price versus the uh, what they were new and the fact that they look this great while you're going down the road is why I drive one all the time.